Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Leonie and I'm here to help you through your fitness journey. Hopefully sharing my journey with you will really help you be motivated and know that we're all human. Fitness is fun and it can be fun for everyone and physical health is really a gift that everyone should take advantage of and enjoy. I recently noticed that when I train for running, my heart rate goes really high even though I'm not feeling any, I'm not feeling like I really worked hard during that period of effort, but my heart really goes really high really easily. I've never said really so much in a sentence, but anyway, my heart rate tends to go really high even if I'm just exerting a little bit of power to get through like an interval or just overall. Like a long run, for example, my heart rate, average heart rate is around 177 beats per minute and I think that's kind of high to compare or anything but like I've seen a lot of runners having the same pace as me but their heart rate is like their heart rate was like 150 whereas mine was 177 and I thought when you are doing cardio or any type of activity the fact that your heart rate is higher will translate into a more strenuous activity so it will feel more ex exhausting at the end and I, I did find that whenever I train cardio or running or anything I'm really exhausted at the end of my day whereas if I'm doing strength training and my heart rate goes around 130 tops I am a lot less exhausted what I've noticed is that even at 163 165 average heart rate <sighs> I'm still quite tired after <laughs> the effort. I mean, I'm not saying that running isn't something that's supposed to make you tired, but I would like to run and then feel refreshed about it and eventually run a fast pace, but also not be exhausted. So right now, like if I run at my run pace, my heart rate is through the roof, 180, 184. I want that, but with a heart rate that's lower. I have, if you follow me on social media, you've noticed that I've been binge watching Natasha Ocean's videos for a couple of days now. And I kind of got this idea um, really early on because she talks a lot about training in like a lower intensity, right? So zone one intensity or zone two heart rate, heart rate zone two, and that's kind of lower. And it's easy basically. So you can, you can talk all the way through your workout and that's normally the base where you're like okay if I can hold a conversation for the entire workout then it's an easy pace and training in the easy zone for like 80% of the time is actually beneficial there's this thing I read about and it's called low heart rate training and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out on your run and instead of focusing on pace or instead of focusing on a certain time you want for that distance you're gonna be looking at your heart rate and when it kind of gets to a certain number you're gonna go and lower the intensity so that your heart doesn't go over that certain mark and normally that's supposed to be like a lower intensity for your heart and training like that has shown to reduce injury risks over training and exhaustion after the exercise so I wanted to try it out and I actually went on a run on Monday and I did cycling as well because I wanted to introduce that in my 2024 year in the cycling activity my heart rate was a lot lower um i tried to keep my heart rate overall under 170 beats per minute given that my usual average heart rate is 177 thought okay maybe try it like under 170 you know so whenever my heart would go to 170 i would like run not as fast or lower my my pace and my heart rate would go back down what we know now is that i've tried it under 170 but that's so high. I want to try it around like 140 or 150. Like 150 would be max. 140, 150. Like that would be my range. I'm going to try this. You know, I have about two more workouts in this work week, either Thursday, Friday, or today and Friday. And then I will update you guys on week one. The idea is that after a few months, like at first you're gonna be very, very slow. But then after a few months, you're gonna have built up the aerobic endurance to where your pace is gonna improve, your pace is gonna get faster, but your heart rate will stay low. So this is, this is the video. I want to go on that journey with you. Right now it's Wednesday, uh, the last day, January 31st, last day to January. I'm going to take you like, like every week so this is like week one because i am super impatient in life i'm the least patient person when it comes to training i want to get that 5k i want to get that 10k i want to get that half marathon lowering my pace is going to be frustrating for me 
and I want to see how frustrating and I want to show you how I've done it and maybe you guys will be tempted to try it because obviously like this is an approach that is very open to pretty much anyone you can start anywhere since it is an easy pace it is a this is week one and we'll see I will finish this video on Friday morning and see like what's come out of this first week Welcome to Thursday of this first week of me running with a low heart rate. So I have my Garmin right here and it is currently 7.38. I just have on my sweatshirt from Life of Running and it says running, uh, yes, you may be. So I really like that brand. I'm gonna pop it on the screen right here. And we're just warming up. I'm at seven minutes, 10, 7.50. <laughs> and we're at 126. I just wanna point out that I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I am. I'm running it in my boyfriend's city. So I don't know where I am or going. <laughs> so my heart rate went really up. I had to walk again. I'm kind of walking like seven seconds and then back to jogging. It's not even a run anymore. This is just me walking around. <laughs> could be special if I get rid of the devils they think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle there's nobody on my level they think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential the grind is all in your mental and I don't think you understand what I'll go through just to be in control of my life soon all the negativity man I'm immune I don't really need a mask with all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages five ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit I'm tenacious and if you ain't get the fuck out of my way then got one life I won't regret it I will fight until I get it I'll look back one day from heaven and say damn I learned some lessons and say damn I have no questions I had fun in every second and the journey was a blessing coming up on two kilometers and I am at heart rate 132 I'm at 935 9 minutes 35 seconds per kilometer 910 and heart rate is 135 we just got to three kilometers I'm on my way back and uh, my heart rate is 130 and 133 and I'm at 9 minutes 35 kilometers. The 5k, I'm almost at the house and we have all the stats. Thank you. It is the last working day of the week. I'm really tired and in lack of sleep. As you can see, I'm having breakfast protein oats, like banana, some berries. As I said previously, I tried on Monday and Tuesday to lower my heart rate. I tried under 170, then I found out about Mafto method. I thought it really needs to be lower because I still was exhausted after my run yesterday. I went on a run and I really did it. It was really slow. It was basically a walk. I had an average um, moving pace of uh, 10 minutes, 24 per kilometer if I remember. And my heart rate, however, was 137. I've never had 
and the average heart rate so low for a run my heart rate being that low is an accomplishment in itself initially i thought it would be hard for me because i've been doing intervals and speed work i rarely did easy long runs we're implementing that and letting go of the intervals and speed work all together i want to do this and try it for real like i want just long runs just easy runs no speed work hopefully uh, in four weeks my time gets better and the fact that you slow down so end of week one i didn't want to film the weekend because seven days is a lot for a video so i think five days is gonna wrap it up um the other weeks are gonna be like more training i hope you enjoyed this video and i will make one every week for as long as i need <laughs> to see improvement so if you want to see more and if you want to follow me on this journey and if you want to try it yourself while i'm at it and see if our frustrations are the same and just go through the whole shebang together make sure you follow like this video comment it really helps the channel we are almost at a hundred subscribers to me it's an incredible accomplishment and i re-watched an old video that i was like we're almost at 60 and now we're almost at 100 so hopefully you enjoyed and i will link some videos right here this is my running playlist it's great it's full of running videos if you guys want to see more of running and if you want to subscribe click right here and i will see you in the next video